Hello everyone, welcome back to another Macto video. In this video, we are going to review all the week one challenges plus all the gold challenges. Without further ado, let's begin because we have 18 challenges to go. First challenge, lane 5 is the red shells. For this challenge, I really can't explain it that much. Basically, got lane hit with a red shell. Basically, forward forward if nothing, if there's someone, if there's, if someone doesn't have anything behind them. Roll forward backwards because red shows do act like green shows when you fold them backwards. I really can't explain this challenge because this challenge is very hard to explain, so, but yeah. Next challenge is lane 3 to green shells. For this challenge, you can use red shell. And then no, not. For this challenge, you can use green shells, basically. They're most, they're harder to hit, but luckily, those triple green shells. So, basically, if I care with triple green shells, you can use that and basically, yep. Yeah. I would recommend you throw them backwards because they act because it's so better because if you throw them forward then they don't really hit that players. When you throw them backwards, like there's no item you can defend with in when you're forwards. The next challenge is to get a fantastic combo a total of five times. For this challenge you gotta get a combo count nine. We need some iron tickets, that's that's what challenge wait a second, why do we not have a single challenge about iron tickets? Okay, but anyways for the challenge I'm in. Oh, it's building up. Building up, seven, eight, and nine. So yeah, go to that five times. Like, I'm not trying to say that you have to do it 3,550 times, which I've done, but yeah, very simple challenge, and yeah, that's not much explaining. The next challenge, I just, I just did this one. Use a point boost ticket three times. So this challenge, uh, I'm gonna use gliders because like I I I I I have a lot of them. Now I want to pick something. Let's use this one card because I have haven't used it in a while. Well, I I had never used it, but like I just want to like oh I didn't know it had an eye on it. I never seen the eye. Oh look, it's nine hundred percent human. Okay, but as you can see, I used three points because it doesn't matter which one. You, it doesn't matter which if it's a driver car or glider. It just has to be one of this one, this has to be this one, this one, or that one. The next challenge is to get first place higher 30, oh, higher 30 times. This challenge we're having in a lot and it's really hard to explain it. Basically just play all the main races and basically if you get first place in all of them, that's worth 21. Then hop into multiplayer and let's wait for the load up. That will count towards then basically you play 10 races and basically if you have any left over just play no races and boom uh, challenge completed <laughs> next challenge is to 100 jump boosts for a second I was trying to like what challenge am I trying to explain but it was like it was just, it's a very simple one jump boost oh look at that much impressive so as you can see right now I'm jumping on my ass very simple challenge yeah, very simple challenge. You can also combine it with this challenge, which is basically the same thing, because like every single track is a city course. The next challenge is to do drive two thousand more on a city course. For this challenge, you can play any track from this toll. I said from this toll because well, actually, you only can do it in this toll. Challenge very simple, you just have to drive on the road and yeah, it's a very simple challenge. This next challenge, I managed to do it on my first race and that's to cause the points crash with the Mega Mushroom. This challenge is very simple, you gotta use the Mega Mushroom, uh, basically just like, get the two mushrooms and Mega Mushroom in 8th place, then hit someone with Mega Mushroom and yeah, it was a very simple challenge. Just kidding, it's not simple, it's very hard to do, but it's very simple to explain. This next challenge is to waste every cup of the bonus challenges. Uh, we can only tell what the badge looks like because this always shows it. So you gotta waste in every cup of corn badges, basically meaning every coal slash cup has to say cleared or complete. All mine say complete because I'm so good at this game. And uh, yeah. And if you want to complete, and but that's every single cup. And also, it, you can use your quick ticket from last toll and use that. Again, it's a challenge we always get, so you really don't. I really don't have to explain that much. So yeah, those are all the week one challenges. Now, if you don't want to go past, quit the video. If you do want to go past, uh, this one's for you.
This next first challenge is to do a total of five slipstream boosts. Okay, this challenge is very hard to explain, but here we go. Okay. Oh great, I don't know if that counts, but if you see I'm just doing the challenge, basically just going in front of someone. Very hard challenge to explain. Next challenge is laying 50 hits with bananas. But this challenge I does so many true bananas, true bananas, true bananas plus, giant banana, giant banana plus. And we cannot forget about the banana boost. So many choices, just forward back, forward forward, forward back, don't forward forward in my follow track. Very simple. Also, another way you can also so basically just get like five giant bananas and then basically like oh maybe for like five triple bananas because like that would be easy it's like but even then you're most likely gonna put a banana on the track or use that as defense. So so many choices. The next challenge is get first place in a row a hundred times or above or above. So this challenge I recommend you play in 100 cc because it is very uh, well, very like very be, well okay i'm trying to say is basically if you play in like 50 cc the challenge works so you have to play in 100 cc but i played in 200 cc and i wait no I, well technically like it's really complicated but i played in 200 cc and got well i didn't get the challenge done like i was just, i like i didn't even know i could bleed this challenge so yeah very simple challenge and yeah yeah Next challenge is to use a level boost ticket. This challenge I was like, I had to do some level up and basically I just used the level up ticket and didn't even know it was a challenge. But the challenge is, um, actually, actually, I know what to upgrade. Okay, but first off, you need to go level up. I'm going to use a driver skill one. Uh, let's use, uh, let's use Dr. Bowser because I really want to upgrade him. And, uh, you just have to use one level ticket, but for me, I'm going to use two. Just make sure. And, um, yep. Yeah. Now I have a good level up character. Just need to do more points on him and yeah. But yeah, very simple challenge. Uh, but you can use any rarity and any, you can use any rarity, so yep. This next challenge is that I actually managed to complete. Do, do 10 mini toe boots in a single race with driver wearing earrings. Now I could try to explain, but first I need to show you the drivers you can use. You can use Peach, Daisy, Rosalina, yeah, Rosalina has earrings. Um, who else? Um, Peachat and Pauline, and basically all the other we skins. And yep, this challenge is very simple. I'm like, here we go. Like, for example, I'm going to drift. That counts. Drift. Like, you can turn or towards your buddy, and yeah, very simple challenge. Also, quick tip, if you have a frenzy, you can easily, like, easily, like, do drifts super easily. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, the track I played was Paris Pumon 2. It's in the Daisy Cup. It's a very simple challenge. It, like, it's not a very simple challenge. It's a very simple track. Like, it's mostly flat, and there was a lot of turns, making it a driftable track. So, yeah. Next challenge, Scott's points crash three times per ride. Now, keep in mind, I didn't really experience every single, single like, track of gliding, so I'm just going to pick the ones I know have gliding sections. Post mode on. Like, keep in mind, I'm like, I don't know if, like, there might be a track I miss. No, no. Hmm. But I okay. Oh, Ain't Sam Drift. Ain't Sam Drift does have a gliding section. Now I am kind of a bit lost here. Like, can't comment below if, if there's any like courses that that have gliding sections because like I haven't like sit that we rarely have city trolls, so I really don't know a lot of gliding sections. But yeah. And you can use red shells, bananas. Like even if you fall the minute, even the player gets hit by the banana and you're gliding, that counts. So yeah, next challenge is active defensible three times on state goals. I mean, finish the challenge on. So basically, the challenge you can play any track because literally every single track in the store is a city coast. And what you need is a free item slot, like for example, this one right here. As you can see, I have like, four, like you see, all these are good. Not every, I have good top shelf characters, 
Next up, uh, if it's like a level 6, 7, or 8, uh, don't really care. If it's like a level 1, be, be an a and hope for the best. Keep in mind, there's a lot, there's a lot of courses where I had to use level 1 characters, so... Yep. And also, like, a lot of city courses don't have a good, like, a good top show, so... Um, yep. The next challenge is kind of very hard because it's those challenges where we have to wait to complete. Well, I mean, it's On 25 Ohio, on the Turkey Dad Cup. So this challenge is like last, so... Only this time around it's way harder because if you use a quick ticket, you you have to wait until... Friday or Saturday to complete the challenge. But I recommend you play multiplayer race. I see my cups in three minutes and... I can't wait. You have like, this challenge requires calculations, but once you complete the challenge... You complete it. I think Macintosh should stop making challenges, but we have to wait to do that. And the final challenge is complete coin wash on time. This challenge is very simple. Uh, go to shop. Buy the, buy the coin wash ticket. And boom. You can also use rubies, but I recommend you don't use rubies. Because let's be honest, the rubies are not that good. And you most likely have a lot of coin wash tickets from... From previous toes, so what's even the point of using rubies? Unless if you want to have a lot of coins, show, sure. but you can easily use your tickets. So what's in the point? Yeah, that's all of the the gold challenges, and here's just the week one challenges. Just we get. I might make another video today on city coast challenges because like they're very simple, and also I can show them to you. So yeah. Thank you for this video, like and subscribe, and bye. And also make sure to look at the root you have.